how much merchandising and licensing do you have? Do you know how many products oh. your name is actually on? I, th- I no, no, thousands. Um, bows alone, there's over eight thousand different styles of JoJo bow. <laughs> yeah, and then I mean, there's I can tell you the categories. I know most of the categories. So there's like. There's apparel, there's bedding, there's home goods, there's toys, there's electronics, there's books, there's music, albums, album covers, there's video games, there's um, uh, 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 like uh, food and beverage. Um, are you ever walking down the aisles? Of, are you ever walking down the aisles of Target and you're surprised that you see your face on something? All the time, all the time, all the time. Um, yeah, it's. Because I don't know, you know, there's so much out there that I don't know everything that's out there. And I'll be like looking at the watches to buy my cousin a Minnie Mouse watch. And I'll be like, oh, there's a JoJo one. You know what I mean? And they'll be like, oh, you're getting the JoJo one. You ain't getting the Minnie Mouse one. Love you, Minnie. But nah. Yeah. Uh, well, at what age did you say you started everything? Eight? So I was nine when I did my first TV show. So nine. And then at what age did you start growing your financial team to realize you were really onto something? I mean, it was gradual. We released JoJo Bows when I was 13 or 12, and Boomerang came out right around my 13th birthday, May so two days before my 13th birthday. Um, so, yeah, like like 13. How many bows have you sold? Over 90 million, I think, is the number now. No way. 90 million? Isn't that wild? Unreal. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. What merchandising has surprisingly generated you the most income? Obviously the bows, but is there anything else that really blew up? Toys. Toys. Dolls? Do, yeah, the dolls, the JoJo singing dolls. Um, the world loved, the world loves them. Do you still have that giant room with all your merch? We have it now. We have a big warehouse with all of it in it because it just got too much and too much in the house and too much with it coming to the house. So we have a place where we put it all. But there's, I mean, there's probably 30 or 40 different singing dolls. Is that something special for you that you just want to hold on to everything? It is, especially all the apparel. I save all the teensy-tiny apparel so that way when I have a baby one day I can put them in it. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited. 